From the very outset, design was fundamental. Before the emergence of any human endeavor, predating even humanity itself, design emerged as a cornerstone practice among early human ancestors, passed down through countless generations. Today, every creation born from human ingenuity, be it spacecraft, architecture, the Great Pyramids, weaponry, apparel, or art, owes its lineage to a singular pioneer of design. This primordial artifact of human innovation is the Achulean Hand Axe. Contrary to what its name might suggest, the Achulean Hand Axe bears little resemblance to the axes we're familiar with today. It lacks both a handle and any metallic components. Perhaps more accurately described as the Achulean Pointy Hand Rock, it is, at its essence, a stone meticulously flaked and fashioned, often into a teardrop shape. The term Achulean refers to where the first specimens were found on a dig site in saint achille France. Other hand axes have been dug up in Africa, Europe, and South Asia. Early humans created these hand axes by breaking off big pieces with large rocks and then shaping the fine edge with smaller rocks and pieces of bone. Making one of these things requires effort, skill, and time. Anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours. Achulean hand axes stand as the first examples of a deliberate design process, yet they do not mark the beginning of tool use among early humans. The earliest tools predate the Achulean hand axes significantly. These primitive implements were essentially unmodified stones or stones that had been crudely chipped using a handful of forceful blows to create several sharp edges. These are known to anthropologists as Olduan tools, named after the Olduan culture. Unlike their more refined Achulean counterparts, Olduan tools were selected from the natural environment by our Homo habilis forebears based on their immediate utility rather than being the product of a considered design process. This distinction underscores a pivotal evolution in human cognitive and technical abilities. Transitioning from the simple selection of naturally occurring objects to the intentional crafting and shaping of materials to meet specific needs. The act of choosing Olduan tools demonstrated ingenuity but lacked the element of craftsmanship. It was a significant leap forward when early humans discovered the potential to create more sophisticated tools through intentional shaping and sharpening of rocks. This innovation led to the creation of the hand axe, marking it as the first tool crafted with a specific purpose in mind, a purpose that remains elusive to us even today. Despite the abundance of Achulean hand axes discovered by archaeologists, their exact function continues to puzzle us. The mystery of how these hand axes were utilized persists fueling a variety of theories and speculations regarding their appearance and use. One theory posits that the Aculean hand axe was akin to a prehistoric Swiss army knife, serving as a versatile tool primarily for butchering meat, but also suitable for cracking open nuts or extracting grubs. The argument's strength lies in the alignment of this theory with the observed wear patterns on found hand axes, suggesting their use in a variety of tasks. However, the theory is not without its weaknesses. A Culean hand axe, for instance, many hand axes have been found with a uniformly sharp edge around their entire perimeter, which would make gripping them for use uncomfortable, as the sharp edge could dig into the user's palm. Additionally, the symmetry found in some axes, which would require additional effort to achieve, seems excessive for simple tasks like nut cracking or meat cutting, casting doubt on the universal application of this theory. Another theory, dubbed the sexy hand axe theory, suggests that the Aculean hand axe was not crafted for functional use, but rather as a means of display for attracting mates. 
The primary strength of this theory is the considerable skill and effort required to produce these hand axes. The intricate process of crafting them could serve as a demonstration of the maker's proficiency, physical capability, and even status, essentially using the hand axe as a tool for social signaling and mate attraction. The logic here is that engaging in such a labor-intensive task without a direct survival benefit would be a way to showcase one's abilities and resources to potential mates. However, this theory's weakness lies in the significant variability observed among hand axes. Not all of them exhibit the neatness, symmetry, and aesthetic appeal that might be expected of objects designed solely for display purposes. The variation in craftsmanship can be attributed to differences in the materials used and the precision of the tool-making process. Some hand axes are far from being visually appealing, which challenges the idea that their primary function was to impress potential mates based on their aesthetic qualities alone. Another theory known as the Killer Frisbee theory posits that Acheulean hand axes were designed as projectile weapons, thrown in a manner akin to a discus in modern Olympic games. The argument's strength centers on the potential use of hand axes by hunters to bombard prey from a distance. While not necessarily lethal on impact, the hand axes could injure or maim animals, thereby providing hunters with a tactical advantage during the hunt. This theory also accounts for the observed characteristics of many hand axes, such as their sharp edges around the entire perimeter, symmetry, and aerodynamic shapes, which would be beneficial for flight and accuracy when thrown. However, the theory is weakened by the considerable variation among hand axes. Not all are uniformly sharp or perfectly symmetrical, and given that these tools were produced across three different continents over a span of a million years, a significant diversity in their design and execution is evident. This variation suggests that if hand axes were used as projectiles, this was not their sole or universal purpose, highlighting the complexity of their role in early human societies. Regardless of the specific purposes Ashulean technology served, its enduring presence across millennia speaks to its effectiveness. The fact that this fundamental design persisted for an astonishingly long duration underscores its significance. Adult hominids were passing down the knowledge of hand axe creation to their offspring for more than a million years. This tradition predates the advent of complex human constructs and disciplines. Before the emergence of mathematics, engineering, science, art, music, poetry, philosophy, literature, religion, or even the development of language itself, there was the practice of design embodied in the creation of the Aculean hand axe. This artifact stands not just as a testament to early human ingenuity, but also as a foundational element in the evolution of human culture and technology.